an announcement. I've already been like hinting to it for a while, but uh, moving. I have to move. So my schedule, I, I now actually know when I'm doing what so I can tell you. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to say anything until I knew like what, what days I was doing what. So this week, this uh, the weekdays this week, I'm going there to do some renovations. There are a couple things that I want to change and it's stuff I can mostly do myself. So I want to do it myself. So I'm going to do that. My dad's going to try to help, but I, I, I want to do it myself. He was like, he was like, oh, I could just do it. And I was like, I know, but you're old. <laughs> Let me do it. <laughs> I want the satisfaction to do it. I also like, I've, I've done a lot of like our old home, like several home renovation things with him. And I like doing that kind of stuff. So like, don't take this from me. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was like, you could, go, you could come by and assist, but I'll do it. Gotta get the custom crown molding in ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, little things like that. I'm replacing the moldings. I'm replacing some window treatments. Um, I'm actually replacing some windows themselves because I, I want to adjust what those are. Things like that. I'm changing some stuff out in the bathroom, some stuff in the kitchen, but not that much. So I'm going to do that this week and I'm going to be leaving Tuesday. So Tuesday onward, I'll just stream as soon as I can. I think the latest would be like Saturday, Sunday. I should be able to stream by then. It should only take me a couple days. But if for some reason I get it done faster, then I'll just stream sooner, but we'll see. So at worst, I'll just be out for a couple days. It literally just means you'll miss like two streams. <laughs> It'll be nothing crazy. And then I'll move in. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to come back here, stream from here and pack the week after and move that weekend. So I'm going to come back here like the 21st, like that Saturday or whenever I finish with the like renovations and stuff. And then probably like that Wednesday or Thursday, I just got to, I got to double check when like the movers with the truck uh, approve, but we're going to try and I'm, I'm trying to get them to do the actual move Saturday so I can just spend Thursday and Friday packing. That's my goal. So I can like stream up, up until that Wednesday maybe. And then, and then Thursday, next weekend basically i would be gone doing the actual move itself that's my hope and then that should mean like first week of october i'm back streaming normal so there shouldn't really be that much of a, a lapse i've already started um packing stuff so i know some stuff in here is gonna be like i'm gonna bring it with me over there and leave it but yeah so that's dish num announcement uh i have new place locked in bought good to go is your new house a little bit bigger than where you live now yeah yeah absolutely absolutely which will be nice uh so i'll actually have uh my own office so <laughs> right now i have a space that um is my quote-unquote office but it is the main room of this place and it's attached to everything else and i do not have a door to this room so i cannot close this door and not have my cats in here where i stream so one of the big reasons why i didn't want to like worry about 3d just yet was because uh they rub all over my legs all the time when i get up and start walking around i always have to look down because i will step on them if i don't so i didn't really want to be like running around doing 3d and stuff and like kicking them <laughs> you know what i mean so i'll actually have a large office that i'll be able to close so they can't be in here it'll be so nice man it'll be so nice i love having them in here but like when doing 3d i'll be able to you know do that yeah i don't want to accidentally punt them exactly will they there be a mataro room yes 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 i actually will have a guest room 100 percent. i will have a guest room and i was telling her about it i was like you are allowed to show up anytime you want, as soon as you want, whatever. It, it, that's just an open invite to like most of my streaming friends, honestly. Totally fine by that. I even have it set up so that if any like creator friends need a home for like a couple months, they, <laughs> they could just stay. <laughs> content house, content house. But yeah, I, I wanna I wanna let people stay over as much as they want, basically. Do you have plenty of windows for the cats to bask in? Yes, for once, I do. It'll be nice, it'll be nice. It'll, it'll, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a bird feeder out. <laughs> I'm gonna put a bird feeder out for them. It's gonna be wonderful. Does this mean the countdown to the 3D debut also starts? I'm not gonna plan anything until I'm in there. I'm not gonna plan any dates. That's why I didn't fully plan. Like I have a tentative date in my head of when I wanna do my new 2D. But number one, I don't think the model rigging is gonna be done by then. I, I It's still just moving along and I, I just don't think it'll be done. Um, But then number two, I just don't wanna plan anything when all that shit's going on right? What if I get there and I'm working on stuff? It's great. And then one chunk of the floor sinks through and I'm like, oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, 
this old home needs new subfloor, you know, like I'm going to let myself be there for some time. Yeah, because a lot of stuff is unpredictable. Exactly. Um, and I'm just going to like settle in. And then when I feel settled, then I'll plan stuff. Wah, wah, wee, wah. But yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. It's very relieving because it's something I wanted and not to like sag farm you, but like I was trying before I became a streamer, I was like getting ready to buy a home. I wanted to, and I was getting a down payment ready. And this was when I was in my old job. And I was like, I think it's time to buy something. And then I got sick and had to pay out of pocket for pretty much everything because a lot of the stuff that I had was not going to be covered. So I had to, I had to just throw all my money at that. And I was like, okay, well, <laughs> there goes a house, you know, like it was just like not going to happen. So I'm just relieved because, um, you know, that was like years ago, but still it was just so frustrating because I was like, oh my God, I'm doing it. <laughs> almost there and then and then nope kind of thing so yeah i'm glad i'm glad it's all relief man obviously i'm not gonna give details but i like to live in incredibly dense areas i don't like going out to middle of nowhere suburbs and stuff so homes in the kinds of areas i'm looking at get snatched up literally in three days three days maximum they're on the market so i've been going for the past like year uh to house showings to try and find something. And every time I've liked something and I've put in an offer, can't tell you how many offers were just not taken because someone else was there slightly faster. Like it just, <laughs> it's so fucking annoying. So I, I was like, you know what? The moment I find something that I like and an offer gets taken, I, that's it. I just, I should just get it. You don't want a big lawn that requires constant attention is mandated by an HOA? Yeah, no lawn. <laughs> that's the good thing. No lawn. I'm not, I'm not, out in like a like a big old suburb or anything like that um so i don't have to take care of grass thank fucking god i don't like grass i hate it i'm also allergic to it so <laughs> i have some personal feelings to <laughs> toward that but uh yeah if i if i cut grass and then like walk over it i my my legs my ankles will just like rash up it's so bad it's so bad so yeah i don't have to deal with having to take care of plant life <laughs> thank god i'm gonna leave live in a concrete hell I love concrete hell. No lawn, not really much outdoor space, which I didn't want anyway, which is good. I have like um the smallest, the smallest patio ever. <laughs> like I have like, uh, and, and not, not like tiny, tiny, like you can't put something on it. Like I could put a grill out there. I'm going to get a smoker finally. You know, I could, I could do things like that on it. I could have people sitting there and they won't feel cramped, but it's just funny. I was just like a little... <laughs> a little thing with a few pavers <laughs> and it's like ooh, yard but it's not really a yard <laughs> i love it i love it so it'll be it'll be nice it'll be nice and uh and the neighbors are nice there's one really old couple right next to me and as i was like initially um doing the the handoff of the home i'm outside there realtor like hands the keys kind of thing we do all you know all that stuff they come over and and they see uh my dad was with me he's just been coming with me on everything and um he was he was there and they were like oh congrats on your new home and i like don't forget i'm really short <laughs> so so people always assume I'm a lot younger. So they look at him and they're like, congrats on your new home. And he's like, oh, no, 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 it's not mine. It's hers. And they were like, you bought this? <laughs> They had this like long pause. I was like, yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> I always get that reaction, always. <laughs>